St. Luke needs a church. Uh, it's not just that we want it. We're at the crossroads now. We've got to have one in order to continually grow the kingdom of God. As God has called us to build a church and we are busting at the seams. We need a sanctuary to worship in. To have a proper place of worship is very important. And, uh, you know, Mass is uh, the center of our uh, Catholic faith. And uh, when we are not able to uh, participate properly in the Mass, we lose something of our faith. The sanctuary gets full where it's over capacity. There's only enough seats in there for 250 people. Well, once we reach that capacity, then we start having to put out folding chairs like I'm sitting in now in the social hall. And this whole narthex and social hall just becomes packed with people. We're just over capacity. When they're sitting uh, back in, in the narthex and in the social hall, uh, there is no proper kneeler. Kneeling is one of our uh, most beautiful part of worship. Uh, when we do the Mass, when we celebrate Eucharist, you know, we kneel to honor the Lord. And when you use the folding chairs, that aspect is not possible, you see. So we are missing out something. I have been here since the beginning when we actually put down plywood and worshiped in a, in a stable. And I've seen it go from that with about 50 parishioners to, I don't know what our census is today, but we are just busting at the seams. We've came a long way, but we have a long way to go. It's a very important project, not only for the parish, but for the life of the diocese as well. It so happens that St. Luke is situated in one of the fastest growing counties in the United States. The new church will provide us a new facility, a new space for worship. In our plan for the new church, it's going to be designed for 600 uh, people uh, seating capacity, but there is a provision which we can uh, expand it to 800 and eventually to, uh, to 1,000 uh, 1, seating capacity. I love the theme of the building for the honor and glory of God. For the simple reason is that's what we're going to do. We're going to have future generations come into this parish and we've got to have the actual ample uh, facility to accommodate those folks. Whatever we do is for God's honor and glory for uh, Christians and uh, um, the theme uh, building for God's honor and glory is uh, designed to uh, bring out uh, that uh, desire to do something for God and you see uh, building uh, a church is uh, not just building a house uh, for you for us to live in. It is the place where where the Blessed Sacrament is going to be preserved. So uh, there's nothing uh, better we can do than to build a house for God. And I can't think of a more important way for us to respond to God's generosity and goodness than to return to Him uh, in our act of worship, in our life of faith, but also in the practical needs that a parish has for facilities. Our response in a generous spirit is our way of saying thanks to God for His gifts to us. And God wants all of us to share what we have. And of course, the Church of God cannot be built without money, you know. So I was uh, in encouraging everybody to participate in contributing. Uh, it is uh, not just giving, but uh, uh, sacrificial giving. We are looking at a total cost of $3.2 million. Uh, it's going to take every parishioner in this parish to make that goal. And it's a sacrifice. And that's what God wants us all to do, is sacrifice our treasure, our time, and our talent. And we're being called right now to try to share our treasure with everybody in God's family. If we respond in a spirit of generosity, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, the parish at St. Luke's will certainly provide for their present need as well as the needs of the next generation or two. Uh, I'm very happy that they are taking on uh, the challenge of this new uh, place of worship. Uh, it's at the center of our life as a Catholic people. We are not a rich parish, but uh, we're a very given parish. 
I have faith that we'll all pull together. We're a, we're a great uh, multicultural community and with the Hispanics and the Filipinos, we will, we will build this church. In Mexico, they're using, they're using a, a word that say, si se puede, we can do it. What we are building now is not only for me, for you, for the present generation. It's going to last for years and many generations will come to the, uh, uh, this new church to be healed, to receive the sacrament. And that's our goal, you see. What we do now is not only for ourselves, it is for our future generation. And they'll be glad and they'll be thankful for what we have prepared for them in the future. This may be a lifetime opportunity for many of us, you know, to build the house of God. You may never get another opportunity and you don't want to miss the bus. You know?